Close your eyes. Get in touch with your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And stay right here. Give it your full attention, your full respect. You may have noticed that we do a lot of bowing around here. We bow down to the Buddha because he teaches us to have respect for something that's worthy of respect within us, which is our desire for true happiness. Happiness that lasts, happiness that harms no one. He says that the search for that happiness is a noble search. Search for anything else in the world, he says, is ignoble. Because after all, you're subject to aging, illness, and death. And if you search for happiness in things that are also subject to aging, illness, and death, then what's accomplished? It all goes away. But if you can find something that is harmless and is lasting, that's worth the effort that goes into it. So you want to respect that desire inside for true happiness. As children, we're bewildered by pain, and we want to find someone who can help us put an end to pain. And over time, we've learned that you put it into some pains and other pains will come. We resign ourselves to that fact. The Buddha didn't resign himself to that fact. He said, there must be something that, once you've attained it, doesn't go away. He searched for it and he found it. He says that by developing qualities that we all have within us, we can find it too. So the world outside teaches you not to respect your desire for true happiness. They say it's impossible. They say that people who look for happiness inside are twisted. They want us to buy their things, do what they want. But the Buddha offered this path freely. He wasn't exerting pressure on anybody at all. He wasn't trying to gain power over anyone at all. So it's a free gift. It's an open path. We should rekindle our desire for happiness that will not go away from us, a freedom from pain that, once it's attained, doesn't change. So have some respect for that. And this is what gives meaning to our lives, otherwise we gain things and we lose them, and we want them again and we gain them again and we lose them again, over and over and over again. Very little gets accomplished except for a lot of suffering. But if you search for happiness, it doesn't change. Once it's there, it's there. It doesn't go away. And you, know, you place no burdens on anyone at all. So have some respect for that desire. As you're meditating, you realize like, this is the path to get there. So have some respect for the breath, or have some respect for your concentration and your mindfulness, all the other good qualities inside that you're going to need for the path. They're all here in potential form. Respect your ability to develop them and bring them to fruition.